YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's mail day again, and I've gotten so much stuff lately that I'm doing a catch-up video before we get back to the big packages. So let's take a look at what I got. Alana Hitchell sent her book, Artifacts of a 90s Kid. I can really relate to this, because it's full of her old journal entries, photographs, homework assignments, and even her Lisa Frank sticker collection. It's got to be the best book of 2017. And she sent me a Tasmanian Devil keychain from 1993 as a bonus. Be sure to check out her YouTube channel where she uploads home movies from the 90s. Up next is some stuff that I got from my mom. A vintage SeaWorld metal bookmark. A whole tin of Mighty Beans. There's some pretty cool bods in here. The 50 film DVD set Nightmare Worlds. I think I've only seen about 30 of these. 18 mid-90s issues of the Far More Flash VHS rental magazine. And talk about rare, five issues of VCR news and reviews. I think my sister had cut some pictures out of this one, but incredibly, I actually have some of the missing pages in my own collection. Subscriber The Spooky Moon sent me a copy of his new CD, Spooky Blue Translucent Moons. It's really good. I'd describe it as ukulele-based chamber pop. Subscriber Ken Palmer sent this Movie Stop Director's Club card, which I'm thrilled to have because all the movie stops closed in 2016. Subscriber Jason Donnelly sent me a couple records. Gold and Platinum, which was a 1984 release from the Columbia Record Club that used proceeds to help fight cancer. I remember my dad getting this album when he joined the club in 1985. It's a really solid compilation. Uh, I mean, other than that Dan Fogelberg song. Jason also sent me this LP by the Philadelphia band Dangerous Ponies. It's autographed by all the members and came with one of their set lists written on a napkin. And best of all, it's on this pretty marbled vinyl. <laughs> Here's some stuff that I got from my friends Armando and Jen. Armando gave me this Blu-ray of the 1989 horror movie The Boneyard. I've never seen this, but how can you go wrong with Phyllis Diller and Norman Fell? He also gave me this Blockbuster Video Promo VHS tape that they ran in the stores back in 1997. Joe's apartment got its fame from some skits on MTV, as did these adolescent characters. The infamous duo moves off the couch and onto the big screen in Paramount's new theatrical release, Beavis and Butthead Do America. And Jen presented me with over 550 matchbooks from her collection. All kinds, from all over. An awesome variety. Just incredible. I could do a whole video on these. Thanks, Jen. Here's a little box of stuff that came from Haley and Angie R. Curry. I got a book of unicorn stickers. Yeah, that one's dope. A Morton Arboretum bag made out of recycled material. A couple packs of casino played cards from Bill's Gambling Hall and Saloon. And a drinking game dice shaker. Inside this Christmas tin is another Christmas tin, and inside that is chargers and adapters, coasters, an Osteogenesis Imperfecta pin, and some bracelets, stickers, hotel key cards, a Fire Mountain Gems ruler, and a ticket from Transformers The Ride at Universal Studios. I also got this nice pair of Gantt sunglasses, and I got some corporate swag. We love to use Alright, this isn't a commercial, but be sure to check out Haley and Angie's Conquering Love channel here on YouTube. Justin Chanel gave me this DVD of a movie he directed, Winners Tape All. It's a mockumentary about two stepbrothers who made movies in the 80s like Curse of the Stabberman and Cannibal Swim Club. <laughs> My friend Greg gifted me 54 issues of Rolling Stone magazine. I had a subscription in the 80s. Now I can look at these ones from 2014 to 2017. Scott Miller sent some fun stickers. These are of his art that he sells prints of. That is wild. He also sent this zine that he put out called Strange Tapes. It's actual VHS tapes from his collection. These have to be seen to be believed. Spanked by Santa. Ooh. How kinky. Speaking of strange tapes, I saw Ryan Gelatin again while I was in Cincinnati, and he gave me the latest release on his label, Naked Ghost Video. 
Law Enforcement Guide to Satanic Cults is an actual police training video to educate officers in dealing with those pesky Satanists. In Satanic Occultism, that which is good is bad, and that which is bad is good. And as you view this learning and educational tape, pay attention to notice the reverse of everything that is normal becoming abnormal. Hmm, I guess that guy wouldn't like this, but it's a cool glow-in-the-dark sign that Ryan also gave me. Also in Cincinnati, a guy named Truman gave me this amazing Showbiz Pizza Billy Bob glass mug. This has got to be the greatest mug in my collection. The next day, I performed in Michigan City, Indiana, and a stranger gave me this Cereal Festival 1998 shirt, where they had the world's longest breakfast table. Note that the shirt features characters from two different cereal companies, together at last. And one of my young fans, Ruby C, drew me these awesome pictures. This is from when I'm strangled by the skeleton at the end of the bone disease video. Be sure to check out the interview that Ruby C did with me while I was in Michigan City. The link is below in the description. I got some cool erasers from subscriber Olivier Cossette. A strawberry and watermelon, lips and the World Wildlife Fund, a playing card and an iPod, a rainbow-colored Florida eraser, and my favorite, this orange-scented orange juice eraser. Subscriber Edward Fernandez sent a copy of his book, The Trusty Butter Knife, an 80s adventure. The story takes place at Halloween in 1985, and even though I just started reading it, I already love it due to all the 80s references. And finally, I got a few more things from subscriber Rocky Johnson. I saw his band, Shrouded in Neglect, and he gave me band stickers, a lanyard, a copy of their CD, Kill All Humans, and a couple fantastic Shrouded in Neglect t-shirts. And I was really excited that Rocky gave me this bass guitar. I'm using it to record my new album. Thanks so much to everyone who sent or gave this stuff to me. You are the best. And I put links to all the channels, music, and art down below, so be sure to check them out. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.